So it's opening day. October 1st. Just got in, it's 4 p.m. Uh, it's been rainy all day. Had to attend a few things this morning. So, I'm now in the woods. National forest land that uh, I hunted rifle season a couple years ago. I heard a turkey, hunted turkey this spring. Just came up here. It's four o'clock now, so got a couple hours before it gets dark. It's wet. There's the occasional drizzle. So should be some miserable hunting. Kind of more. This direction. Either find a tree in this gut. Or find a tree on the edge of this gut. And hunt it. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, deer scat right there and right there. That looks a little old. That looks like it could be semi fresh. Maybe it happened today. Maybe a couple hours ago, maybe this morning. Anyway, I know there's deer in here. I know there's deer in here, but it's good to see fresh sun. So, I'll keep trucking along. So I'm set up. I'm in the saddle. It's the first time I've ever used the saddle. I'm maybe about, I'm not high off the ground because I got a confession. I'm a little scared of heights. I only have three climbing sticks and uh, I don't have no sisters. So I think I'm about 10, maybe 15 feet off the ground. I'm at a slope too. So this side of the hill is higher than this side of the hill because there's a little gully right there. Um, it's first time saddle hunting. My legs are shaking. Like I did find getting up here, and this uh, this one rope right here, this uh, it slipped on a piece of bark because I was getting it set up. And God, I <laughs> um, um, I'm at the edge of this old growth and this timber cut over here. Um, the timber cuts on my right side, the older girls on my right side, and I'm hoping, I see some deer trails coming through here and here, and I'm hoping I can maybe find one cruising along here. I'm on public land. It's the first day of archery hunting. In Virginia, you're allowed, if you're west of the Blue Ridge, which I am, you're allowed three does, three antlerless, one ant and two antlered. So, um, if a big buck comes along, I'm not going to pass them up, um, but if a doe comes along, I'm going to take her too, because I'm honestly just, uh, I'm just out here hunting and I'm looking to fill the freezer, so that's what we're doing for now. An overshirt that I used to walk in on, got this little thing to put over me, help out while I'm sitting still and stuff, so... Keep it in my mental preparation. If I have a shot, you know, I've been practicing all summer, tuning in that bow. I've practiced a few times in the saddle at the house, shooting shots and all that stuff. And, but I've never taken a shot at this height. So, I just gotta remember to take deep breaths, chill out, keep my cool. And I don't need to, you know, I don't need to mess it up. There's deer here. I just gotta find them.
hummed a little bit this morning. Um, first thing, met up with Skylar. He hunted until about 9.30. And he works night shift now, so. He went home, went to bed, moved spots to uh, some fields, some old uh, oil wells that used to be up here, and they've removed them, now they're just open fields. And I uh, went turkey hunting here, you know, back in the spring. Saw a lot of deer sign, so I thought, maybe there'll be some deer up here. Um, I don't know, we'll see. We're gonna, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try and get in the saddle. Um, the wind is actually coming this way, and I'm walking in. So the wind is really right now into my favor. Um, so I'm going to try and get in here, set up. This thing kind of splits off into a Y, and I'm going to try and sit in the V. You know, like where the Y, two arms meet. Maybe I can catch uh, something coming in on me. Then again, I may set up at the other side of it in this big field that's going to come up so if I can see anything coming my way since I have the wind coming this way anything in front of me definitely will smell me technically from the woods and uh, you know I got my angle right there that's what I'm hoping for let's see if that happens or not but it's only 12:30, so kind of early for an afternoon hunt I didn't even notice it until I got up here but there's a doe bed or a deer bed of some kind underneath me, so in the state line. In the little pocket of the National Forest, I call the island, because it's surrounded by private property. Um, I've always kind of looked at this area on a map, never really hunted it, and I saw no cars were parked here, so I decided to give it a go. So I thought my luck was going to be good today. I bumped that doe and uh, just kept on trucking along. And I don't know where the wind picked up. It was like gusting like 12 miles per hour from the north. Um, not much time though. So I'm going to head out and get some food.
easy gunning. bigger. Probably would have tried to go after him where it is kind of bear season too, but uh, he was a little, little bear. Um, then no crap, like maybe seven, ten minutes later, a little spock buck came out in these woods right over here. 60 yards, a little out of my comfortable zone. He kept on looking behind him towards that way, and then he kind of just trotted off and didn't get no close to me. I spooked him. But, uh, that black bear, I thought a squirrel was, uh, down here in the woods. Uh, I thought two squirrels were getting it on down here in the woods. Next thing I know, I see a bear. <laughs> it was awesome. Even if I don't get a deer today, that's the, uh, that's the highlight of my day. That black bear and that spike. I mean, it makes you not regret see stuff like that, you know, stuff like that is what makes, you know, getting a deer, getting what you're hunting for, putting food on the table, meat in the freezer, that's obviously your goal, but, uh, if it doesn't turn out that way, at least stuff like that, it more than worth it coming out here sitting up in a tree and either freezing your butt off or not you know so and of course views like that that's honestly a this area, I saw deer tracks and there's oaks and all that stuff, but I picked this area for two reasons. Hey, there's good wood coverage over there, but I didn't want to walk in the woods, make a lot of noise setting up, so I set up here about 20 yards from the tree line. And, uh, also, my second reason was, uh, I wanted a good view. Like, if I wasn't going to get a deer, at least I had something pretty to look at, you know? Yep. 
Sounds good to me, man. season and uh, I'm going to take that as you know a lot of it was learning learning mistakes and I was hunting a lot of spots that I usually don't hunt new spots and I think the biggest takeaway I've noticed is that I just need to do more scouting I need to uh, I need to scout uh, before deer season kicks in you know things happen you get busy I don't really have a chance to do it as much as I want to. But, uh...